What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Ride and Dad channel video, or welcome if it's your first time. Either way, we're very glad to have you. You guys saw the thumbnail. We're replacing these stupid, stock, dumb levers with some brand new shiny chrome, really nice one fingers. Roll that intro. Riding down a YouTube channel, it's the 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 riding down a YouTube channel. All right, for those of you who have seen my other build stuff, you know I've never had one fingers. Um, I talked about them briefly in one of my first videos with this bike, and I said that they sent me the wrong ones. I'm an idiot, completely wrong. I just I was fitting them weird, and it was it was my fault, not not wrong at all. <laughs> so um, yeah, we have the full set, which is a brake lever that's just going to replace the lever that's there normally. Um, that'll be very easy to do. And then we have a clutch lever, which is the entire mechanism. I did go ahead and get the one that has the uh, stem for the mirror as well. Or not stem, but the mounting location for the mirror stem. Um, so this entire piece is going to come off, which is also pretty simple. Um, but I'll show you guys how to do that, obviously. Only tools you're going to need for this, whatever tools you're going to need to take your uh, clutch perch off, your brake lever off, depending on your bike, and then whatever tools you're going to need to adjust your clutch cable itself all the way in and then obviously back out to the proper adjustment. If I look like I'm sad or I'm crying, I'm not. Uh, my allergies are just really bad this morning and I, I just sneezed a second ago too. So that is what we got going here. Um, Tucker Speed is where this can be purchased. I'll put, I'll put the link down below, of course. Um, we're going to do the brake side first because it's going to be super easy. Uh, yep, exactly what I thought. So... Most of you guys, if you have regular tools, um, like kind of mainstream, regular, around the house kind of tools, will not have these. But you will need these. Uh, they're not snap ring. I think they're C-clip. Yeah, C-clip pliers. Um, they have different, these specific ones have different tips. I currently have these in from a, another job I did before. Um, but these interchangeable tips, um, these are actually really nice. They're freaking expensive. They're like 35 bucks, which is stupid. But uh, they have this lever and you can change them that way you can push them in or out depending on what you need um so it's pretty cool it's not switching over now i don't know why there we go <laughs> fixed all right so first step is first brake lever come closer all right so when you do take these c clips off uh, just be careful because they like to go everywhere and by everywhere i mean somewhere that you'll never find them again so we're going to try to carefully remove this one, grab it as soon as it, God darn it, got it, thankfully, it actually went on my shirt, best case scenario, uh, this is dirty, so let's clean this up, all right, we're going to pop this pin out, pin, I don't need, I, it's not really a pin, but I guess it might be, clean this up as well, because this is dirty. All right, so I forgot to hit record, so that's my bad. But basically all we did was unscrew the two Torx 27 bolts on the brake perch side and just pulled out the brake lever, that's it. Um, so my bad guys, but at least we didn't miss too much. So once you do that, take the new lever, put it in. At this point, you definitely could and maybe even should uh, fully install it, put the pin in there and put the C-clip back on there. Um, however, my hands are full and for camera sake and such, we're going to go ahead and just put it back as if it was installed. Just be careful not to let that kind of pop out and go ahead and reinstall your Torx 27 bolts on this side. All right, once you got that installed, or if you choose to do this first, completely up to you. Uh, if you do have grease, you should have grease. I don't have any, so I'm gonna have to undo this. I keep forgetting to grab the grease from my actual house, but this is the pin that holds the brake lever in position. So I'll go ahead and put that. So you'll wanna put grease 
kind of on the surface area of the lever that impacts or that you know has the friction fit on that side so just make sure you do that as well and go ahead and put that in and then we're going to go ahead and put the c-clip back in and definitely don't lose it now because i can't believe i found it once so we're going to position the little pins where they go and pray that we don't lose it. Hey, look at that. Perfect. All right. And now the brake lever is fully installed. Profile of it feels really nice. It's not adjustable, um, but it feels pretty good. Still definitely do it with two fingers. It's far enough away and angled that it doesn't impact the rest of your hand. Um, so that's pretty cool. But the real deal is on the clutch side because the clutch side makes it an easier pull. That's why it's, that's this whole kind of selling point of the one finger lever. So that's the exciting part. Let's go over there. All right, so first step first, on the clutch side, you're gonna have to adjust your clutch cable completely so that it is in the, it's hard to explain, so that the clutch cable is as close to itself as it can be that there is zero tension at the lever. So we're gonna adjust this. Uh, if you have a standard two-piece style clutch, you're gonna adjust this. You're, well, you're gonna loosen the locking nut all the way down to the bottom and then tighten both pieces up, you know, right, righty-tighty uh, to where these become one and the cable becomes as sure as possible, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the next step, because this entire piece is going to go, is going to be remo to remove the clutch perch. Uh, normally, this would also be a T27. However, the person behind me decided to redneck engineer this and do their own thing with their own mount stuff, and unfortunately use a metric sized four Allen bolt. So we're going to go ahead and take this monstrosity off and replace it with some shiny new chrome. So it wouldn't be an install video if it didn't have problems. So uh, I actually, like I told you guys, stripped. I had to hammer in a Torx 27 into there, uh, but we got it. So thank God I'm done with these crappy bolts. All right, once this part is off, go ahead and take this entire thing off. Be careful of the clutch switch that's here. You don't want to damage that. All right, so the next two things you got to do, assuming that you're keeping the stock mirrors, is take this. Yeah, you guys can see that. Take this C-clip. Off of the clutch side. Ooh, I was nervous about that one. Set that aside. You don't necessarily, I mean, you definitely don't need that for this, but it's a good idea to keep the stock configuration. You can either sell it or use it if you ever revert back or whatever. Completely up to you. Pop that pin out. Which apparently is easier said than done. There we go. Oh, and drop it, of course. Remove the clutch lever, which is like a weird angle that sometimes gets stuck for some reason. Not sure why this doesn't want to come out. It's normally easier than that. There, I think we got it now. I think it's because that pin, I think that was an aftermarket pin. I don't think it's supposed to be that high, but of course the problems of buying a bike 
that's used. All right, that was way harder than it should have ever been. Remove the entire clutch cable. Hopefully you can do those so that, yep, without taking the lever off yet. Remove that from this. This, we're gonna have to take the mirror off. We'll do that in a second, so we'll set that aside. And we're gonna pop the old lever off of the clutch. And there's a clutch. All right, on this bike at least, I think most Harleys, they require a 9 16 And I should have probably done this before I took it off the bike. <laughs> 9 16 um, bolt, there you go, to remove the mirror. I am dropping absolutely everything today. All right, mirror, we're gonna reinstall in the new one, the new clutch perch from One Finger. Uh, this perch, you can put all the factory components back onto it and keep it, sell it, throw it, whatever. Don't need it right now. Now that you are ready to install your new one, take the bolt out. I put some Loctite on it. Unfortunately, this is metric as well, but at least this is a good quality bolt. It's a metric number five millimeter. Um, so just, this is really simple to put on. This is going to be a really weird, and this is where I thought it didn't install correctly. Um, actually, let's put the bolt on first. We're going to put it on loosely um, just because it's going to be a placeholder right now. That way I don't have to worry about this falling or moving around or whatever. So something that you'll kind of notice on this, which is weird, is that the clutch switch doesn't engage until the very end. And that's where I thought it didn't work, uh, but I was wrong. That's just how it's designed. So the more you know. All right, so hopefully you guys can see, I tried changing the camera angle the best I could to see this C-clip, but you're gonna have to take this clip out, which is a very hard angle for me to do because you guys are actually in the way here, but I'm sacrificing my own vision for you. I think I got it. So carefully take, yep, carefully take that C-clip out. And go ahead and clutch stays in, clutch lever stays in. Put the clutch cable in. Pop that sucker on there. And now it's time to put the C-clip back. Again, if you have grease, which you should, I'm gonna have to redo this the right way off camera, uh, put the grease in. So C-clip pliers, C-clip, there you go. Now that cannot come undone. Time to put the mirror back in, super simple. Just put the mirror back in just like you think you would. I'm getting new mirrors soon, so I'm not Loctiting these threads at all. But uh, if you're not getting new mirrors soon, definitely should Loctite. Now it's time to adjust the clutch, which actually you guys will be able to see the whole process. Time to adjust the clutch back out, which is basically the reverse of what you did before. You're extending the clutch cable. And this is easier said than done if your hands are a little bit slippery. Check it periodically. Good kind of cheat code is think about a nickel in uh, US money. Nickel should be able to fit in between this little lip for your clutch cable and your perch. So you should be able to have just about a nickel's width. Um, you can get away with more of a gap if you push it all the way through. I 
tend to do maybe just a hair less than a nickel. Um, something you also want to make sure is you don't want to pull pull, but just pull enough that you take, because you could see if I'm doing that, I'm like, oh, there's not a nickel, a nip nickel. I, yeah, I don't know why is that word so weird. <laughs> but you got to see, you just got to pull it so it's actually taking the pressure off of it uh, and, you know, go from there. There you go, clutch completely adjusted. Let me come over here and grab it the right way so I can see what it feels like. Oh yeah, it's definitely uh, it's definitely less, and you can fully pull it without touching these fingers, which is really nice. So of course, at this point, install is pretty much completely done. You would want to get on the bike feel everything, make sure that nothing moved, or even if it didn't move when you were installing these the new perch or you know the brake side or whatever with that, even if it didn't move, you have different levers now that feel different. They have a different uh, thickness, a different angle. You might still want to move them, um, in which case these stock are T27s, uh, then, uh, I'm sorry, T25s, and then obviously the perches are T27s. I went over doing the install for this, and then five millimeter metric, hate metric on a SAE thing um, for the clutch side. So, but yeah, they look really good. I like how I have a little bit of a mesh of black and chrome going on up here. The brake lever feels really nice. Uh, clutch side feels really nice. Everything feels really nice. Um, definitely, if your bike is a bike with a clutch safety switch, um, like most of them have, that won't allow you to start it. Just make sure, you know, safety test that. That way you can complete the install and troubleshoot it before anything gets serious. Um, and then same with the brake side, make sure that your brake lever is engaging your brakes. I feel like this is all common sense, but common sense isn't that common nowadays, unfortunately. But yeah, I really like the way they look. Super happy with them. I'll give a long-term review. This is the first time I have had anything from One Finger. The quality is very nice. Um, I'm excited. Very nice. I'm gonna set this up and then take a quick ride. So thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you like this video. It really does help me out, helps the channel out. I think I earn it. Make sure you're uh, subscribed to the Riding Dad YouTube channel. No reason why you wouldn't be. Turn on post notifications so you make sure you never miss one of my new videos. All my discount codes, affiliate links, everything for playlist build series, all of that is always in my description. The links for this will be in the description as well as the coupon code for Tucker Speed. Make sure you get 10% off pretty much everything in their shop. They're great people over there. Go support them because they support us. Thank you guys for watching. And until the next time, ride safe, have fun. Dad out.